Hey there, it's Vince, man with a fork. We're making cheeseburgers today. Yes, cheeseburgers, that iconically American food item. And we're gonna make it with something even more iconically American. That's right, pasteurized processed cheese products. We're making Velveeta cheeseburgers, right now on Man with a Fork. You know, the funny thing is, most people make cheeseburgers and technically they're not using cheese. That's right. That is the uh, the not so uh, hidden secret when it comes to cheese food products like Velveeta or its more famous cousin, uh, American cheese. Yeah, cheese. The thing about this, these things melt really, really well. Uh, in 1918, a man by the name, no, not a man, a genius by the name of Emile Frey decided to um, put together this product by actually combining the curds and whey and making this uh, this cheese sauce that you can buy in a block. You know, you can't have a burger without burger patties. We are starting this off with uh, some 80-20. Uh, that means it's got 20% fat. So uh, some good quality ground beef. So I'm gonna lay down some wax paper here. We'll start forming some uh, Forming some patties here, you know, about that big. I'd say that's about two, about two inches, two inches around. But we're gonna lightly apply a little pressure there, make sure they spread out. We want them to be all the same size. This is gonna be a triple decker burger. For our next step, we're just gonna season it with uh, some fresh ground black pepper, and that's it. We're gonna salt it later. We'll get some other prep going over here. I'm taking one onion, and we're gonna take the other half, cut it like this, border it further like that. Let's get our uh, Velveeta cheese over here. I'm gonna take two slices, nice thick slices. We're taking this one tomato. One of the issues I have when you have vegetables on a burger is that it tends to get slimy, right? But I do like my vegetables. I think the best way to actually do uh, vegetables on a burger is on the side. So what we're effectively going to do is kind of make it into its own little salad. Yeah, I love lettuce on a burger, but you know, it gets soggy after it's been sitting there for a while. What we're really doing here is we're, we're prepping uh, a little salad on a stick. I'm going to get some of our red onion, just going to poke it right through, push that through our lettuce gonna put our tomato in there and we'll cap that off with some more onion and we'll set this aside and here I have a Yukon gold potato if you want to know more about what you can do with this uh, potato you might want to look at this video up here cut it into quarters and we're gonna do a little pan roasting of these guys one of the other things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split off a, uh, a single clove of garlic give it a little smash let's make our burger sauce we're making garlic mayonnaise Spooning a little mayo here. To that, we'll add just a little bit of salt, fresh ground black pepper, and we will add that garlic, but I'm gonna pan roast it a little bit. We'll add some Worcestershire sauce, mix that up. Next, we're going to make a dressing for our, uh, for our vegetables. Get a little mayo, a little mustard, garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of paprika, and some sweet pickle relish. We're gonna mix that up, all right. Oh, that's perfect. A few moments later. We need to start by getting our cast iron pan nice and hot here. Some butter down like that. We get our buns, put it right over the butter. Yep, that's just about right. Pull these off, knock our temperature down a little bit. Put our garlic right in the middle. Some more. Red onion, put down our potatoes. Garlic's about where we need it to be. We just want it to brown a little bit. I'm gonna pull that off to the side. Continue uh, sweating our onion. Get them nice and soft. You can get a little bit of the char, that's okay. That's, that's flavor. You know when the potato's ready, because it's going to just have give and it's going to be fluffy on the inside. That's what you want. We're going to take our burger patties, 
peppers side up like this and we're going to uh, flip them over. Give them a good smash. A little bit more pepper. I like pepper. And they're ready. They drop down a little bit. You flip them over like that. Put the potatoes in there. Let it soak up that beefy juice. Right? And this is also the time that you actually add a little bit of, you know, hit that up with a little salt. Get that flavor on there. We'll take our Velveeta cheese and we'll just put it right on top like that. Yep. Get the other one. Put it on top like this. Yep. Put another slab of Velveeta cheese in there. Put. Oh yeah. Oh. Get that. Get that. Put that right on top like that. I'll just cover it up with uh, with a pan here. We're gonna lit it up. Put that over like that. And give it a lift. When it's ready, you will know it is melting right there. It is super soft. A little bit longer here, just a little bit. And it will be time to put this burger together. Now it's time to assemble our burger. We're gonna take our pan roasted garlic, we'll give it a fine chop, slip that right into our burger sauce like this, give that a whisk, spoon it onto the bottom like this. You want that mayonnaise to be the first thing that touches your tongue right after you go through the, uh, the toasted buttery bun. We're going to take our sauteed pan roasted, pan grilled onions like that and take this oozing right there and we'll just put it right on top and then for a little sweet finish we're gonna add some ketchup just a little bit we're gonna cap it off we're gonna take our potatoes and we're just gonna put them right through our spear we're gonna finish plating this bad boy burger took a long time to put together. Maybe I'm just excited. Let's see. We're gonna finish this off by taking our potato wedges here, right? And vegetables that would normally go on a burger and we're gonna dress it up oh, just like that. Now let's, let's try out this burger. We've waited long enough. Wow. That is beefy, peppery, creamy, cheesy. That is a super juicy cheeseburger. Wow. I'm just tasting the, uh, the sauteed onions, the grilled onions over there. Mmm. Got ketchup on my fingers. Going right in. Mmm. That is ridiculous. Mmm. Wow. Got it all over my fingers here. Wow. That's exciting. Let's try out one of these. Wow. Mmm. That's good. I'm I'm biting right into this lettuce here.
Mmm. Get some of that raw onion. Sweet. Man. It's okay to get your fingers all messy here. This is food you gotta dig into. Mmm. Let me have a bit more of that potato. thing about this is the order matters right I mean you can you can change it up a little bit make it your own but I like it this way when you're when you bite into it your tongue you know gets through that bread you know you get a little bit of that that buttery toast that instantly it hits that ever so slightly garlicky mayo with the extra savory hit that extra savory hit from the uh, from the Worcestershire sauce it's creamy and then you get the the caramelized onions right the the sauteed onions they, they they're, they're they have a little bit of that bite but they're sweet naturally sweet and then instantly you get into the meat that beautiful beef and the cheese and and then and then more beef and then more cheese and then more beef and then finally it finishes off with just that right amount of sweetness, right amount of sour, that tartness from the ketchup. And that all happens in the span of one bite. In a moment. I don't know what else to tell you guys. This is fantastic. You, you really, you gotta try this. You know what? If you like what you've seen here, make sure you click like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, absolutely subscribe. We're gonna make more beautiful food like this. Until then, Vince here, man with a fork. I'll see you next time. Check it out. We're doing an unboxing. Oh uh, yeah. Look at that thing. <laughs>